Well, I mean, there was always this myth that British Superbikes was this uh, the place you came to retire, but no, that myth has been well and truly dispelled. Over recent seasons, we've seen the average age go down, and this year, had we not had the disruption of COVID, we would have had the youngest ever starter in the, the British Superbike Championship, that being Storm Stacey. He had to have special dispensation to test the Superbike uh, pre-season, and the original round one would have fallen just a few days before his, his birthday at the legal age to ride, to ride a Superbike. But, Talent is everything and we've got to recognise that uh, across the world the general level in terms of age for riding the highest level of bikes is and has been coming down. So uh, long may it continue, Storm Stacey won for the future and uh, look forward to seeing how he gets on today at Alton Park. Uh, but trying to get a feeling for it, every single circuit we go to we're on the back foot. I'm trying to watch the races from last year as well as going to work through the, the races and stuff. Uh, but we're trying to, we are trying our best to try and get the set up, uh, but we're not getting the feeling that I've had on any other bike. This bike feels completely alien to me, such as the brakes, the way it handles, how stiff it is. Expecting it to ride like a road bike, which it doesn't, which I'm really surprised about. Um, so I'm literally just trying to get that bit between my teeth and try and go that bit faster. Um, but we are getting there and we're making steps in the right direction. Times 16 laps, this is Bennett's British Superbikes and uh, a good start by the black Honda Fireblade of Glen Irwin, number two. He gets a real jump off the start and his teammate and younger brother round the outside goes Andy Irwin. Much corner and surely it will be McCam's Yamaha, what a ride for Jason O'Halloran. And the Aussie rings it. O'Halloran wins it from Christian Iden. Second place for Buchan. And third. Whoa. And as they cross the line now, it's Andrew That's Irwin. Andy. Keith Farmer, welcome back. Keith gets himself a point for Build Bay Suzuki ahead of Taylor McKenzie, Storm Stacey, Hector Barbara, Josh Owens and Graeme Irwin. I suppose we've got quite a good reputation over 25 years of starting quite a few of the current stars in the championship. And... Uh, it's always been part of our ethos to try and help that. That's how we ended up with the Stealth Fluid Power Academy, bringing the kids through into what is the Superbike team. And every now and again, like with Taron and a few of the others, you see Carl Harris, you, you see something particularly special. And, you know, Storm's background, you know, there's been all sorts of things of tragedy and elation. And he joined us at the beginning of last year at just 15 to jump on a six, uh, 600 for the Kawasaki 636 in the Superstock series. And, you know, we had a bit of rough and tumble with him because he's a young lad, but very, very quickly, as everybody saw on TV, he developed a skill for that bike. And then winning two races here last year, starting the back row of the grid after our qualifying in debacle with a broken engine and coming through to second. And then over the winter, as we headed for our 25th year, we were wondering how best to um, have our year, if you like, a silver jubilee celebration. There's Lee Jackson alongside Jack Kennedy, who was uh, is being troubled with arm pump around the demanding undulations of Alton Park. What can the Dubliner do? More importantly, what can a Halloran do from the front row of the grid? Alongside him is the normally fast-starting Christian Inn, but it was the flyweight Taron McKenzie who got a brilliant start from the second row of the grid, and he follows O'Halloran through. Shoot! Oh, oh, there he goes. Look at that. It's going to be the double for Jason O'Halloran and McCabs Yamaha. O'Halloran takes it second for Eden, third for Danny Buchan. He was looking forward to Alton Park. You know, he had two wins here last year, and but everything on the Superbike's happening really quickly. Um, he's down into the 36ers now, which is an incredible achievement. Uh, if he can get away with them, you know, we had a 17th yesterday. If he can get away with them, then we've got two more shots at getting another point. And... I think he's really capable of that. The team and the bike's in a good position. Storm's in a good position. I know it's September, but we have got sunshine here at Alton Park. It's a shame we haven't got the crowds to enjoy it, but I'm sure they're at home enjoying it. So, yeah, I think I think there's a possibility, another point, if we do come in our garage later and watch the uproar. Not too bad. I feel like we've been on a, on a bit of the back foot because uh, we're kind of going off what other people's settings are that have ridden this bike. 
um, and I've pretty much matched the same lap times as what people have done on this bike. So at 17 years old, I'm pretty happy to be going around Alton Park doing a high 35. I can't really ask for much more. The Australian former champion on the Vision Track Ducati. Again, the lights get held for a long time. Can he get a go? Whoa! The V4 Ducati pours the air as he comes off the line. Has it cost him time? Lee Bob Jackson nearly led a British Superbike race at that point as they tipped it to all hall, but he goes way wide. It's the two Kawasaki's with Buck and uh, tailing his teammate. Oh, Storm Stacy has yeah. been so consistently finishing in these races. It's just come past and it sounded like a bag of spanners, I've got to say. Good race, uh, really, all, all weekend we've had. We've just been making great progress uh, into the last race. I thought we had something uh, between our teeth. A lot of good riders in front of us, and I've been battling with Hector Barber all weekend, an ex-GP rider, so um, there's a lot of positives to take for the weekend. And to do a 135 round here um, for my first time round here on a superbike, which is unreal, really. Um, but the last race, we increased the tyre pressures and the front tyre, and... The feeling wasn't very nice, um, and I think I would have crashed if I had have carried on. But you live and learn. Um, we've never done that before. You had to try it, uh, but I did have to pull in because I couldn't get the feedback from the bike I wanted to feel.